here we go. We are at Francesca's Pizzeria. Where are we, Frankie? We're at the corner of... 68th and Columbus. 68th and Columbus. Special guest, Dr. Oz. I've never seen you, Frankie, so rattled to the point that you told me your entire diet growing up was based on what he said to eat. Your mom would listen to it. You didn't even know half the reasons you were eating it. Your mom would just say because Dr. Oz said I had to eat it. I'm sure your mom never told you to have this. Correct. Right. Well, actually, we own an Italian restaurant, so that's all I eat. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've never, I don't think we've had pizza on the show. This may be a first for me. I want you to spin how pizza's going to keep me healthy, keep me lean. A lot of people, I've heard people say one slice a day keeps the fat man away. I don't know if that's true. So that's completely made up. That's not true at all. I'm going to choose to believe that's good. <laughs> I'm going to choose to keep me healthy. So what we do, we try one a day. So we try them all. You take one bite, one through ten, and you score. And also, is it nutmeg pizza? I don't think this is nutmeg pizza. People told me, we were talking earlier that you had pumpkin pumpkin spice pizza. That's a thing? There's a, they had pumpkin spice everything. They make sheets that smell like pumpkin spice. You know, they got the little cinnamon, little cloves in there, the nutmeg. It gives that nostalgic Halloween type of feeling. Is that good or bad? Are you pro? I'm, well, the, the good news is it really does remind you of the good old days. I mean, I'm with family and fun and faith and all that stuff. The bad news is you make everything taste so good, you have more of it. So I think it's better just to have plain cheese like this. And this is the control. You got to do the one. First of all, what do you put in your mouth? Is there too much grease? The drip test, the famous drip test. I like this. The That's Portnoy, pretty good. The Portnoy drip test, it passes. There's, there's what, what? zero. Zero, zero. All right, are you ready for that? And no fluff. That's a really good looking slice. Yes. We haven't been on this part of town since we started these rooms. We've done 250 of them, by the way. So are you kidding me? 250, pizza never sleeps, neither do I. Upper West Side's got great pizza. One bite everybody knows the rules, Dr. Oz. Frankie's knees are shaking, he's so nervous right now. I forgot how good pizza was. This has been a long time coming. Mm, I like this pizza. This is football pizza. So the good news is, the crust is thin, it's crunchy, it holds a feeling to it. The cheese could be a little smoother in my mouth. I don't even know what that means. Just pretend. Oh. All right, a, Dr. Ross says it, it has, I believe it. It has a note of mud. I'm kidding, that's wine. I have a question, Frankie, back to you. Did you make up the macadamia nuts thing, or is that actually the truth? He said it was macadamia nuts that he had his whole childhood because you said, I don't They are so good for you. They have they, they got some fat in them, but they have, it's good fats, a lot of it. And it tastes great. It fills you up. You won't eat too many of them. So you weren't exaggerating on the macadamia nuts. That's what you say. You said, I had macadamia nuts for lunch, dinner, breakfast, because you said so. He turned it into a macadamia The guy's a stud. Look at him. Or, no, you can start. I'm getting you some, some macadamia nuts. I'm all, I'm all in on macadamia nuts <laughs> and macadamia pizza. All right, so score, one through 10. What do you got on this? You have to finish the pizza and grate it? No, it's one bite. Right, but wait, it's just not one bite. Most of it's missing. You get a rat guy at it. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it an eight. There's a, a little bit of the cheese that would mix up a tiny bit. But I tell you, overall, it's got a good mouthfeel. Uh, it's, it's, it's got all my unami taste buds going, those are the taste buds that make you just crave stuff. What is an unami? I don't even know what unami, unami is. Is big when, words when now? You have, huh? When you have meat, the yep. reason you like it so much is it, it stimulates these very ancient taste buds. Primal. Your, primal taste buds that make you just crave more of it. So it gets sort of, get, the cheese gets you there. I was, and and it, it's also not, sometimes they muck cheese up. This is nice and pure. I like oh, this. this I like it. Oh, this is the, yeah, this, these guys coming in. Oh, we, we got, got we Dr. Oz fans, we got Young fans, we got everybody. I read, <laughs> uh, and that's going back to the old days, the meat, the primal, that's your whole thing, keeping it simple. Kind yeah, of, right? and, you know, if it worked for us 10,000 years ago, it works now. Fair enough. I will say, the eight, I have to say it, even though I appreciate being on, Dr. Oz, eight is a rookie score. I say that to everyone who goes around with numbers, because you can use decimal points. I think this, let's see. I should have paid attention. I'm going to give this, I actually think this is really good. I'm going to go strong. 8.1 on this. 8.1. I think the price is right. It's exactly what I just Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're so excited. Yeah. It's the best Huge pizza. Thank you so much. The best pizza in the city. Right here? 8.1, more like 11 out of 10. Right here? You right serious? Here. Right Sacos. 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 Sacos is good, right? Eight. Yeah, Sacos is very good. 8.1 is pretty strong. I brought all my friends to this pizzeria. Every single one of my friends, after they walked in, 
They said it's the best pizza that I could buy. Now Portnoy's taking a, a, a controlling share of the pizzeria here. 8.1, that's a strong <laughs> review. We got eight from Dr. Oz. They probably just put them on the map in the Oprah treatment. This place will probably have like 30 of them now throughout the city. I do get a small cut of that. Uh, 8.1, 8.0, that's a review. Dr. Oz, thank you very much. Uh, there you go. Enjoy it.